Hi there, welcome to Radiant Art Inspirations where you get easy, fun, and fast face paint tutorials. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a beautiful and effortless glam skull. This is a two-part video, and in the first part, I'm gonna show you how to create this glam skull on the job, along with creating several different types of gems to take with you so that when you do this design, it'll be very fast to do. In the second part, I will demonstrate on how to advertise these gems, how to display them, and all those extra little details. This particular design is perfect for teens and adults. While everyone loves this this design, while face painting is more geared towards children, when it comes to gems and glitter, it is very difficult to say no. This is one design that has become very popular at my festival events, and now that Day of the Dead is coming up, this could not be more perfect. We are gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. These are the supplies we are going to be using today, but this does not include the gem part of it. So first with a filbert shaper, you're going to paint the eyelids. When you are using a sponge, you can kind of lose control, but with a brush, you get a better understanding of how big you want this circle to be around the eye. Using a filbert shaper is just big enough to get all of the big spaces, but small enough to still give you control. It's very important that you do not go too low below the eye. This is a very glamorous look, a very beautiful look. You also want to add eyeliner as well. Keep it below the eyebrow and just a little bit under the eye. You don't want to over exaggerate it. And then to add a little bit more texture with a sponge loaded with gold, add a little bit to the eyelids, a little bit under and in between the two corners of the eye as well, because everyone's going to be looking at the eyes and the gems, of course, for this design. Next, with a number two brush loaded in black, you're going to paint the nose that kind of looks like fire. I'm not going to lie to you, painting noses are not that easy, especially when you are dealing with someone that has a very pointy nose compared to someone that has a larger kind of softer nose. But as long as you have a pointy number two brush, it's going to be a lot easier than using a number four brush or larger. And there's how it looks. It looks so beautiful. And with that same brush, you're going to add two little swirls for the mouth. Oh, and add a little bit of gold on the nose to just really make it pop. Makes a huge difference. Please add that. Then with that number two brush loaded in black, you're going to do teardrops for the mouth area. Going over the lips is a little bit more difficult because it's a bit more protruded out of the face. So take your time. But once you get to the cheek area, it is very easy. You're not doing straight lines. You are doing teardrops going up and down. And then with a dry sponge loaded in pink, you're going to add a little bit of blush if the person is not wearing blush already. Because again, this is a glam skull. You don't want to have that sponge be wet and give them like clown looking cheeks. Now we're getting into the fun part and that is the gems. It's so exciting. Here we are using medical tape, so it's so easy to apply. But if you want it to be just a little bit stronger, add some body glue. Here I'm adding Y body just to place a little bit on the gem and around the eye. Because when people smile, it can kind of get a little bit loose. So if you want to be just extra careful, add a little bit of body glue already to your medical tape that is attached to the very back of your gems. Once you have it on both sides, either you or the client can just press it down just a little bit to make sure that it's nice and secure. But now it is time for the centerpiece of the gem. And it's probably one of the best parts and of course you want to make sure it is right between the eyebrows make it perfect otherwise it'll look a little bit wonky here is a close-up of the gems and don't worry i will show you how to create them a little bit later now we are getting into the stencils. Here I'm using an ooze stencil called Lace Pendant Mask Stencil. We're going to be using almost all of them. And of course, we are also using a kombuki brush because you're able to get more control with these detailed stencils compared to a sponge. And then also you can keep on sanitizing them and reusing them person after person. So after you do the middle piece of the forehead, you're going to do one on the chin. But if you don't add a dot, you just keep on messing up. So please do not be lazy like my and add a dot right at the center of the chin and then apply the stencil. You're going to be saving so much time. You're not going to mess up. So please add the dot. Do not make my mistake. 
All right. Then with this next stencil, we're going to be doing the cheek area where the sideburn meets the cheekbone and the same technique loaded in red. You want to make sure that the kabuki brush is slightly dry because if it's a little bit too wet, dealing with stencils can be very difficult. But once you get that ratio right, it's going to be your best friend. Then with a number four Mark Reed loaded in red, you're going to add some dots. If you watch my videos, you know that the Mark Reed makes the best dots on the planet. So do invest on one of these if you're going to be adding a lot of dots to your designs. When it comes to sugar skulls, I've always been very intimidated by the eye area, adding swirls and teardrops, because I was never able to really get it right. So for this design, I wanted to make it as simple as possible, but to still make it look very impressive. And adding the gems and also the dots really brings it together. If you have time, you can add some dots on top of your forehead, but then with a number two brush loaded in red, we're gonna add some teardrops in the naked areas, and then a swirl coming down, and then a swirl coming up from the eyebrow. This step is optional, but I found that it looked really nice. You're gonna do the same thing on both sides, kind of hugging the forehead, hugging the stencil, hugging the gem. I thought it made a big difference. And then to shape the jawline, we're gonna add three teardrops right below the stencil where you did it on the um, sideburn. And this is looking really, really nice. We're almost done. Of course, you have to add a little bit of red glitter. This is Cardinal by Vivid Glitter. It is stunning. You can either use your finger or a silicone wand. It is up to you on what you feel more comfortable with. And there is the finished look. It is so easy once you get it down. It's amazing. Here is a close-up version. And I mean, it's, it's effortless. Before we show you on how to create different types of gems, hit that like button if you are enjoying this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, and make sure to hit the notification bell so you do not miss part two for this video, where in that video we will show you on how to advertise and display your gems at your next event. You are going to need tulip glue, this is diamond, and you're going to need two gem setters. And of course, you're going to need gems. You can find these gems on Amazon. I have a link below. And then for this sheet, you can download it for free on my Pinterest. This is what I use to create all of my gems. Truly, it is so helpful. So with this first design, we are doing a, a rose design, very soft, very pretty. And as you can tell, the little dots that are on this sheet of paper that is laminated, by the way, so you can always use it over and over again. It's very helpful. I don't recommend adding gems on the very last dot because it shapes the eye just a little bit too much and it doesn't fit everyone. But when you just add four gems um, on the side, it, it usually, it's not always universal, but for the most part, it does pretty well. And then also for the forehead area, you have an amazing triangle to really give you those perfect shapes instead of guessing. Guesswork is never good, especially when it comes to gems and especially if they're paying extra, the clients are paying extra, you want them to be absolutely perfect. Now here is the downfall to the gems. While I love them and I use them for almost everything that I do, it's a little bit of extra work because one, it takes time to create these, but it honestly takes like three days for that glue to dry because you are adding a decent amount of glue and then to place them onto medical tape, you have to cut them off out individually, preferably using sewing scissors so you're able to get a more precise cut. You don't have to apply it onto medical tape. I like to because it gives me that extra stickiness that I feel very confident using versus just using body glue. But that again, that step is optional for you. Here is how this gem design looks on the face. That's the first design. Here is the second one using a black rose as the centerpiece and using some spiders as well. I would like to emphasize yet again that you can find these gems on my Amazon store. A long time looking for them. Don't worry, I have that link in the description box below for you. Also in this design, I'm gonna be showing you a slightly different technique when we get to the centerpiece because with this particular rose, it's very big and it's kind of hard to see how to place the gems right below it. So a really good technique that I've enjoyed is when you add that glue already on there and then you stick it onto the rose and then you remove that big rose and then you continue applying all of your other gems with that glue already at the center as your focal point. 
Once you've finished placing all of your gems in the right area, you are able to place that big rose right in the center and then continue onward. You don't have to do this with all gems, but only with your really big ones. Usually the roses where you're not really able to see where to place the smaller gems. And there is the finished look. Getting into our next design, this one is perfect for Day of the Dead using skulls and roses. But this kind of layout is perfect for anything all year round, depending on the holiday, or if you want to use it just in your day-to-day -day job. This is a great design to have in your back pocket, really, or to promote on your idea board for those that don't want a full face face paint design, but want something glammy, glitzy. And what's great about these particular gems is that if you use medical tape, you can reuse these gems. And that's a really big promotion that I like to mention when I am providing these gems to the public is, hey, this is reusable if you use eyelash glue, which is the most common body glue that anyone can find that isn't already a natural artist that uses body glue, right? So with that little piece of advertisement, people are like, oh, now it's worth whatever you're charging for. When you mention that it is reusable and that you can reapply it with eyelash glue because the majority of people already have that in their bathroom. So when you are using these gems, when you are attempting to advertise them, do emphasize that they are reusable. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our easy, fun, and fast face paint tutorials. Also, take a look at our Instagram for our step-by-steps, and while you are scrolling through social media, take a look at our TikTok where we tell you true stories of what it's like being a face painter. That is it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.